Great. We're going to kick off. We're going to run through all the TATAC Global 2020 winners. So thank you to everyone who took part. And thank you to our global sponsors, Simwood, Avaya, and Sangoma, who made TATAC Global 2020 possible. But it's not just the global sponsors. We also have, just hang on a sec. There we go. Uh, our uh, partners from all around the world who are running locations, who are supporting locations and making TAD Hack possible. Uh, as you can see, there's many brands on there and we're grateful for all their support. Some support us through locations, some through providing uh, resources uh, and also for local prizes. And we'll run through some, not all, of the local prizes that were allocated over the TATAC Global Weekend. A few pictures from the event, and also just to mention that uh, next year we're aiming for the 25th and 26th of uh, December. And also just to say that everybody involved is hardcore. Let's face it, when our grandchildren, our grandnieces and nephews ask us, what did you do during the pandemic? you'll be able to tell them that you were hacking through the pandemic at Tata Global. And what's more important, show them the video evidence of how young you looked. But anyway, let's get down to uh, the re results. So we're going to run through the global winners. Uh, and I would first like to uh, kick off with uh, the Simwood winners. So Charles, would you like to introduce your winners, please? Certainly will, Alan, thank, thank you. Um, so we've actually split the prize uh, four ways this year. Um, one main overall winner, um, and then three um, closely following um, second and the joint third. Um, our main winner prize of $1,000 goes to Team, team Berlin. Um, it's, uh, we consider it to be solving a very real world problem, a current issue. Um, and was done so in a in a in a, in a very pragmatic uh, way, and actually the, you know, the the issue and the solution was scoped scoped out by a non non developer, um, and the team have put together um, a, a real uh, a real great solution. Demoed it, it works works brilliantly. So well done, Team Berlin, with uh, with the Stena um, hack. Um, second prize um, goes to Vincent Vincent Wong for his smart home. IVR solution, um, real nice simple solution to um, to a challenge. Um, demonstrated very well, and, and the demo worked, um, which is uh, which is always always nice. It worked very well, very, very slick, um, nice presentation. Um, so so thanks for for using Simwood for that. So, and just a little props Vincent. to Vincent, who's based over in Malaysia. Indeed, indeed. So. Um, the, the final five hundred dollars we're split in two ways between um, who we consider to be our our joint third winners, um, who also um, happened to be um, winners of, of the local UK prize also for, for their hacks. Matt Williams being first uh, with his MD two IVR um, hack. This really had the, the call factor, I think. Um, Really neat, uh, nice, simple idea, but um, but again addresses uh, addresses uh, you know something which 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 um, which is a real world real world um, issue in creating sometimes quite complex IVRs in a non technical way. So um, so yeah, props to to Matt there for, for his hack. Um, and finally, um, the, the 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 second two fifty goes to Leslie, um, who who um, was also working alone to um to create his reach out app now he really understood the simwood api um first time using it and you know he, he really sort of dug through the docs and came to um came to find some some really neat features that are in there hid, hidden away sometimes not, not necessarily documented well but he he figured them out um you know he, he, he bit off a lot in terms of features um managed to complete a couple of them and demoed them very successfully so so leslie props to that um and also for for creating the, the mobile sdk or the beginnings of the mo mobile sdk around it 
So, um, so thanks all. And, um, and those are our, our chosen winners. Excellent. Thank you so much, Charles. They're great choices. Great. So moving on to our uh, next uh, global sponsor. So we're going to run through the Avaya global winners. So uh, David, over to you. Yeah, thank you, Alan. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to sponsor this great event. I'm David Lallemand. I'm a managing director for CPAS at uh, Avaya. Um, so we've selected actually three projects. It was very difficult to, to pick the best one. Uh, so we, we chose three. Uh, and really based on the value we think those projects can, can bring to customers or to communities. Uh, so maybe let's move on to the first one. So we really liked uh, the work done by Yuri, Daniel, Edgar, and Kelly. Uh, it's called In Danger App, uh, which is an app uh, that allows to generate alerts in case of danger to a network of contacts. Uh, check it out. Uh, very, uh, very polished. Uh, really look like a, an actual product, an actual app you could find on the on the Apple App Store, as an example. Uh, great use of our APIs. So we're, you know, nice to see that both SMS, voice, and I believe text-to-speech APIs were used. So um, we really liked it, um, and really great effort also on the on the uh, UI side, which is, you know, quite unusual for a hack. So. Congratulations, you're winning uh, $1,000. Uh, next winner, uh, Alan. Uh, so again, well, I think we had the same opinion as uh, our friends uh, at Simwood. Um, you know, Team Berlin with the uh, Stena uh, app, uh, we think is also, uh, it has a lot of value for, uh, you know, the education space uh, in, the, in the times of COVID-19, but, uh, but for remote uh, education as a whole. Uh, so we're really impressed by this, uh, this hack. Uh, so uh, Raphael, Ali, and Omer, you're uh, winning $500 from uh, Avaya. Uh, next one, Alan. Okay, so last but not least, uh, actually another project from Colombia. The, I think the first one was from a Colombian um, uh, students from Colombia. Uh, so this one is called Gotex Connection. Uh, really liked it because it has a lot of value for communities. Uh, it connects people that don't have an internet connection uh, through SMS to uh, healthcare and education services. Uh, so there is obviously a, a big uh, social uh, benefit to it. So congratulations to uh, Christian, Brian, uh, Jonathan, and Tanya. Uh, great work, uh, and you're winning $500. So that's it for Avaya uh, Awards. Uh, and again, um, thank you for inviting us to this uh, uh, to this hackathon that we, we really enjoyed. Thank you very much, Excellent. Alan. You're welcome. Thank you so much, uh, David. Yeah, Avaya did very well. I think you had over 18 uh, hacks to uh, make a decision yep. from. So that yeah. was, uh, that was awesome. Thank and you. of course, uh, well done to uh, Tadak uh, Papagan, uh, Colombia for uh, great representation across the uh, Global Awards yet again. So what Thank we're you. going to do now is we're going to move on to the location. So that's the new stuff. Uh, but we do want to give everybody who's been involved their uh, moment of fame. So we're now moving on to the location winners. So we're going to kick off with uh, Tadak Asia Pacific, which was supported thanks to Senate Mobile. Roshni, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. I know it's uh, getting into the evening your time, but uh, again, thank you so much for uh, joining us. So maybe you'd like to introduce the uh, uh, winner for the Sri Lanka part of Asia Pacific. Sure, Alan, thank you. So uh, it was Kat, Teams Kat, who won the Sri Lanka prize. Uh, so congratulations to Anjana, Dinet, Charlie, and uh, Charlie and Kasun who developed a RFID-based transport ticketing system. So they won an award equivalent to $250 um, marketing budget actually from Idea Mart. So they actually, they will work with uh, us and the Idea Mart team to uh, get an MVP out. We've given them kind of a timeline like one month. So we, said, so we look forward to seeing something coming out. They're gonna be busy, but hey, you're in lockdown again in uh, Sri Lanka. So they'll have the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, hopefully, definitely. Thank you so much, Rashni. We also have <laughs> other winners from around uh, Asia Pacific. So Vincent won uh, a location award. This was split three ways 
across the uh, three location winners that were awarded. So Vincent was doing the smart home IVR, as Charles already mentioned, it worked, it was slick, just a great you know, uh, demonstration of what's possible. Two other uh, hacks, this was using Avaya, and this was Team 501 with a uh, COVID-19 uh, tracking uh, hack, and then Eureka Innovations with their uh, device to track blood pressure and health uh, metrics, again, using Avaya. So they all share equally the uh, $1,000 uh, location prize. So well done to those three. <clears throat> and it's great to see across Asia Pacific, such representation from uh, Sri Lanka. So well done to uh, all the hacks from uh, Sri Lanka and your representation. Of course, we have to remember these uh, hackathons, uh, the locations don't happen without the support of many people. So we have the uh, Senate mobile team there. You can see they're well-branded, but also we had uh, Mark White and uh, Jose Maria Riccio. Uh, unfortunately, Mark had a trapped nerve. He described the pain as far worse than open heart surgery. And he was lying on his back throughout the uh, TATAC weekend, but we still managed to pull everything off. And I hope you get better soon, Mark. Moving on, Berlin. Sebastian, are you there? Hey, Alan, I'm here, yes. Excellent. So you can hear and see me somehow? Yes, we can see you, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so first of all, thanks everyone for, um, I guess on behalf of the team, for being, um, being chosen here. Uh, I have to say it was an excellent event. We did an, uh, an on-site. Um, we were not really sure how to turn out, uh, but uh, we'll say in the end it was it was really great. Um, we had a couple of developers there. We had one um, teacher there, um, and he actually gave us the idea for the uh, for the hack, and it was a great um, great dynamics because he was um, I was a bit afraid if he comes for the second day, but actually he came back. Um, he brought in a real world problem. Uh, he was very excited um, about actually um, using um, yeah like features that the sponsors provided to tackle some problem. And he, in the end, left encouraging us to even communicate to the Senate uh, with the hack. So I think um, it really left, um, yeah, left some good impression. Um, the, this is the hack. So the Stina hack came out of the team. Uh, as I said, it was really great to see some uh, very technical focused people, uh, Ali and Omar, working together with a real, um, uh, yeah, with a non-developer at all. It was the first time they're interested in the startup scene. That's why, that's why he came. And we're really happy um, yeah, to, to win. So I'll communicate with the guys later on. And I think they're really excited. Um, I have to say it was really also good to see the progress from last year, right? So we used uh, SimWood last year. It's really good to see the integration of SIP-centric. I like it a lot. The feedback um, on the channel was, again, excellent. Um, same with Avaya. Good, good day on board. I think they have relevant technology. That's also quite good. Um, and nonetheless, uh, it's also good to have uh, DT finally join. Um, Less so for the technology yet, uh, but at least that somehow the importance of uh, events like this and program communications um, is uh, recognized. So thanks again, Alan. Thanks for all the sponsors. And uh, yeah, we're looking very much forward to, uh, to next year. And congratulations on the Global Prizes awarded by both global sponsors. So I think that's a first to achieve. Yeah. Well done to Berlin. Thanks, everyone. Moving on to North America. So uh, we had two local sponsors in Telepia and Symbol.ai. Uh, the other sponsor, of course, is the Real-Time Communications Lab. Uh, that's Professor Carol Davids and all her uh, team. Uh, they've been there since the beginning of TADHAC and we're so grateful for their support over all these years. I'm just going to briefly run through the Intelapia uh, winners. Now, this winner, uh, Mike and Elias Kent, had my son very jealous. When he saw that a father and son team had won, he was like, well, why weren't we hacking together? I, I mentioned that I was uh, you know, running an event, but that didn't, you know, as far as he's concerned, I failed in not uh, having he and I hacking together, maybe one time. But again, education focused. I think everybody you know, who has children and you know, dealing with remote education or half in, half out, if there are alternate weeks, it's tough. And there are a whole host of tools, I think, that we can uh, use to help improve 
education, again, just using such basic things as programmable communications. And they, again, were a great demonstration of IntelliPeer's GUI and just how easy it is to use. So well done to Mike and Elias. Then we had, uh, this is a local team, so it's nice uh, that uh, we had a Chicago-based team. They, again, used uh, Brighter, uh, and this is a survey based around mental health. We can see it uh, you know, amongst our family, our friends, uh, healthcare professionals. As the lockdown goes on and on and people are facing a winter and even into spring with uh, continued lockdown uh, restrictions, that has a significant impact on mental health. And again, I think this is a very relevant hack and had some great ideas. And again, just demonstrated the power of IntelliPeer's GUI. So well, well done to both of those. Moving on now to the uh, symbol.ai winners. Charlie. Yep, um, so again, uh, joint winner, homework helper. Again, they had such an uh, awesome application and just to reiterate um, on Alan's point that it's so awesome to see a father and son uh, working together at creating you know, a useful application and um, just just uh, really, really impressed there um, with, their, with their video and their camaraderie. So, so that's super awesome and um, could be happier to be presenting them with that $500 prize. Um, so if you want to go to the, the next slide, yep. um, we also had a uh, WebRTC Ventures uh, win and their, their video was, was very, very impressive. We're super, super happy to be handing this to them. Um, it was, was very impressive um, to, to see. And then um, we have two more, correct? No, no, that's it. That's the uh, oh, yeah, yeah, AI because they shared yeah. your thousand dollar prize. Yeah, yeah. The thing that with WebRTC, I mean, they do a lot of work in this space, and it's based on their real world, you know, their real world experience. So you can see how this one can become, you know, a deployed, you know, uh, application very quickly. So I, yeah, I really like this one in terms of just how quickly I think we'll see this in production. So uh, congratulations to Symbol AI for your hacks, but also one I think that we will see commercialized very soon. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then we had location winners. So uh, the joint location winner was Dave Horton. Uh, now he runs the open source project uh, Dretchio. This is an open source telecom app server. Uh, very interesting. Basically, it's open source Twilio. Uh, so I think that, uh, you know, given the, the, I think it's, they jumped up from $45 billion now, Twilio. So uh, basically, Dave's disrupting that market with this open source project. Uh, again, great use of uh, symbol.ai in uh, this uh, hack. And then Brighter also won the uh, joint winner of the location prize again because it's very powerful, very relevant. And they packed together both um, the Avaya, the symbol.ai, and the Intellipia uh, resources in a very good way. So congratulations uh, to uh, the team there. Right, so I gotta say thank you. Uh, so here's the Real-Time Communications Lab. Uh, we have Warren. Uh, Warren has to do all the heavy, heavy lifting for Tad Hack. So he's the guy that uh, basically staying up late and uh, dealing with all the logistics. Uh, Carol in the middle there, that's Professor Carol Davids. It's her lab. Without Carol's support, this wouldn't be happening. And on the right is Tom. Tom looks after the cash. <laughs> a lot more than that, but that's a simple way of looking uh, how that breaks down. Thank you again for all your support. Okay. Moving on to both local and global winners across uh, Tadak Papaya, uh, Colombia. Uh, please uh, introduce uh, your winners. Hello, Adam. Hello, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure for me um, in this event. This year, it was very difficult, but the Tadak run in Colombia, uh, it's so exciting. And uh, uh, local winners uh, in the first uh, place, uh, GPT, uh, it's an application to connect uh, the persons uh, with the professionals in education professionals, uh, medicine professionals, and every, everyone. Uh, it's an interesting uh, solution for uh, joining the people. Um, the second place 
It's a mobile app. It's a interesting solution uh, with the cannabis, cannabis production in, in the greenhouse uh, controls via uh, SMS. Uh, and this uh, adapt the environment in the in the greenhouse. Um, and the certain uh, location winner is uh, Hackney with your rub app. It's a, a transport solution for Popayan. It solves a, a local problem. And the particular issue about uh, Juan Sebastian is that uh, he has a uh, 13 years old, it's a young hacker and solve an interesting problem in Popeye. Excellent. Other way, the Microsoft winners, uh, Microsoft uh, winners, it's all participants in Popeye, uh, all use uh, technologies, Microsoft, Microsoft technologies, and uh, the, the price for Microsoft is a uh, uh, Azure Learning Pass with the uh, certifications, uh, credit in the Azure platform, and different uh, benefits in the Azure products. Excellent. The AG Tools winners uh, in their app uh, make an uh, excellent uh, solution for generating uh, alerts to contacts and uh, emergency contacts. Uh, he has an uh, excellent uh, UX experience, uh, making a uh, so visual uh, experience with your applications. And the second place in AG2 winners is InfoShake. Um, it's a web application to, uh, to bridge the app uh, between most common healthy incidents in the Department of Cauca like uh, uh, stress, like uh, cardiac problems and, and everywhere. And the third uh, AG2 winners, it's Bitmedit and Coders Latam in, in two solutions for the third uh, place. AG tools say that I, I don't know, say one or, or, or other and, and simply say, the two solutions are 13 place. Excellent. Thank you so much, Gabriel, for again running an amazing uh, location. And congratulations on all your global prizes as well. Thank you, Alan. Oh, of course, yes, and the team. Uh, so maybe you could introduce the teams here, Gabriel, because uh, I don't know everybody. OK, thank you um, to Camilo. Camilo is the a uh, leader in in Celtecratic. Uh, thank you, Alejandra, your uh, marketing and social media person, and the uh, uh, youth uh, Sandra and Maritza uh, for Microsoft Colombia. Uh, it's all perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm grateful you were able to join us. Okay, moving on to South Africa, which again this year was our largest location. I'm only going to run through three of the winners, just so you understand. When you have 350 uh, uh, registrations, there's quite a few prizes. So I'm the bottom three here, I'll look at the first, second and third prize. But you can see there's a whole host of other uh, you know, uh, prizes that were uh, being offered across the many local sponsors that uh, take part and they had spot prizes as well. So uh, I know everybody was tweeting when uh, they signed up for Momo and we're getting some, uh, Momo is their uh, mobile payment service. Uh, they were getting some uh, Momo cash. So that had a lot of people excited. And the winners winning a thousand dollars are Explorer, Explorer Android 3. So that's uh, Naomi, Carol and uh, Christine. It's a tourist gaming app. Uh, and last year, we had some of the Simwood team down in uh, South Africa, so I'm sure they could have benefited from uh, that app. Although they arrived, they hacked, 
through the night and then they had to leave to go home. So I'm not sure how much time they'd have, but uh, definitely uh, I think they would have appreciated the app that they created there. Plus, it's not just the $1,000. There's a whole host of vouchers they won as well. Uh, 10,000 rand of uh, vouchers. So well done to uh, that team. Second place was Cleek. And this was using, again, Momo uh, to help uh, recruit job seekers uh, for temporary work. And then Palozenex, uh, which is a three-way communication system between students, parents, and schools. Again, I think this is a common theme. The mental health theme is common. School communications. We're all seeing the challenges because it's not joined up. And programmable communications can help join up a lot of these platforms so that uh, you know people don't forget their homework. People are able to communicate with the teachers. When teachers ask either parents' involvement or students to do something, it's tracked and traced. So there's tons of stuff that we can do here. And a lot of these hacks were very interesting. And it was a massive team that uh, came together. There was rapping, there was a lot of dancing, there was fireworks, and there was representation uh, across all the states within South Africa. So uh, well done to uh, everybody involved, particularly uh, Alicia and all the MTN team and Geek Culture who pulled off, again, another massive event. Then on to the United Kingdom. So uh, again, Rob was there supporting us. Uh, his new company now is uh, Applice. Uh, we'll be hearing more from Rob at uh, TAD Summit uh, in November, but uh, let's keep this focused on TAD Hack. So the hacks included Matt Williams was hacking. This not only is it solving a very uh, real world problem, it was the geekiest of geek of projects. I, you know, it basically, it was code. He didn't show anything but code. Uh, and Matt's been with us for many years. He's hacked with his girlfriend and wife. And when we were doing the prize announcement, we got to see their uh, son uh, in the background there as he was feeding him after he got his hack submitted. So it was great to see the uh, TAD hack ecosystem growing organically. The other first class, uh, first place winner was Leslie. Uh, again, I think this is a real world need. It was an excellent hack. But Leslie actually did another one, uh, but that's for his business. But this, again, is a great example that when you're hacking, yes, there's doing a hack that you can show as, you know, to win a prize, to sort of take part in the hackathon. But it's also about helping you do stuff with your work as well. So I know Leslie was asking to keep the production access going so that he could give some demonstrations for a potential client. So again, it's great to see real world stuff being built through the hackathon. And we hope that achieves significant commercial success. And then running up, uh, was the yes, team Similarly Geeky, which was Stephen and Lily, which was Spotify on hold. The name says it all. And it was also a very slick video. So well done to uh, Stephen and Lily for yet again, a very cool hack. And then we mustn't forget all the Simwood team. So there's Fraser pouting his lips, Sabrina, Rob, who helped in all the run up to an organization of uh, TAD Hack UK. So well done to the team there. So that's it. There's all the results. As you can see, we generated a lot of winners. There were a lot of hacks despite the pandemic. As I said, everybody involved is hardcore. Thank you to our global sponsors, Simwood, Avaya, and Sangoma for being there, supporting us and making this possible, as well as all our partners. And just to leave you with a save the date we're planning on the 25th and 26th of September 2021. Hopefully we'll be returning to normal uh, then to have TAD Hack Global. This will be the weekend before Enterprise Connect. Enterprise Connect is the largest enterprise focused communications event in the world. So I'm not sure how many people get traveling into the US back then, but regardless, I'm sure they'll have a significant online component. And the great thing is that the winners have a chance to give their pitches in front of that massive audience. So again, great business opportunities uh, for people involved and also promotion opportunities for, for yourself 
that can lead to some amazing job offers. So again, thank you to everyone. Thank you to our sponsors, to all our partners. Take care and thank you so much. Thank you.